Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today is just a quick video, we're not building anything. Uh, just wanted to share these two Lego sets that were already built. I was just trying to move them around, uh, reorganizing my Star Wars team uh, display area. And I said, why not just make a quick video to compare them real quick for individuals who are wanted to add one of them or both of them and are debating what do they go with. Uh, or is it worth having both of them? So, with no further ado, let's start with the 2012. So, this is the 2000, 2012 R2D2 Lego set 10225. At that time, it retailed for $170, $180 in 2012. Uh, it comes, of course, with one minifigure. Uh, it, had, uh, it was rated for 16 plus and had around 2,127 pieces. Uh, on the on the left side, my left, uh, you have the R2D2, uh, uh, the 2021 uh, Lego set, Star Wars. Again, same thing, it's for the 50th anniversary, uh, uh, I guess, celebration. It comes also with one minifigure R2D2, uh, and this one also, uh, Lego set 75308, uh, retailing right now for $240 and uh, rated for 18 plus and i believe it has 2300 and i don't know something uh, pieces so if you compare the amount of pieces this one has 200 more pieces than this one and it's mostly i think uh, built into the body of it because you can tell it's more rounded uh, more curvature whereas there's more edges on it uh, again there's around almost a 10 year difference so yeah uh, also at the same time, Todia totally bought Star Wars team. I believe this one falls under the Ultimate Collector Series uh, team, whereas this just falls under the Star Wars team. So that's a quick overview of that. Uh, the other one, the 2012 comes uh, in a three-piece manual. The instructions are made of three booklets, whereas this one comes with one booklet. Uh, of course, uh, the newer box is uh, the old traditional box, the newer traditional box of Legos. They are the black boxes, whereas I believe the older one is uh, like, you know, the older style white, white colored box. Uh, if you look at the overall from just far away, uh, they are pretty much the same height, nothing there. Uh, but if you look, if you, uh, from a coloring standpoint, they have the same again, white, darkish, bluish and grayish. Uh, so not big idea there. Uh, but if you start coming closer to them, you could definitely see the difference between the 2012 and the 2021 and definitely yeah from a from a cosmetic or from visual they definitely did a better job of course you know 10 years later fast forward they made it look, look more as r 2 d2 more curvature on it which if you look at the r2d2 on a, in a movie of course you could tell this will have more resemblance to the real one than the 2012 not that the 2012 is a bad thing either but just wanted to point this out uh, if you look at the plaque, of course, they both came with one minifigure, nothing there. Uh, the minifigure on here is, of course, with a lighter blue coloration. But I like the plaque. The plaque is bigger, you know, uh, I like that. Typical UC, uh, U, uh, UCS uh, kind of style. They give you always a big plaque. I like, the, I like the minifigure on the side of it. That's the typical way to display them. I like that. Whereas if you look at the 2021, they shrunk it. They shrunk the plaque. And they put this at the top, which I don't know, not my uh, cup of tea, I guess, not my favorite. I wonder why they didn't put it on the side. But I know they wanted to give it that touch of 50. Uh, I see that point. But I know, I don't I don't like the way they shrunk the, the plaque either. Uh, anyway, but that's what it comes with. Um, now, of course, when you start looking at them uh, closely, like I said, the, the 2012 have a lot of edging, edges here, both on the in the head and in the body was more curvature here, more rounded, which I like that. Uh, so let's uh, try to look at them uh, one by one. So I'm gonna focus on the 2012 first, right? And then I will compare the 2021 to the 2012. So as you can tell, the first of all, we go with the head. The head do rotate 360 degrees. That's nice. Uh, if I go to the 2021, same thing, it rotates 360 with more friction. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but they both rotate. Uh, if you look at the head of the 2012, nothing more other than rotation from a playability standpoint, whereas the 
2021 has a bit more playability they added to it they added the, the, the periscope which comes off the head like the r2d2 and of course they added another trick to it which is the saber uh look saber so you open the head here and of course you have to pull it out with your hand there's no like mechanism to pull it out you pull it out and bang there's the look sabers uh look uh, lightsaber uh, just like the actual one so these are two extra playability that the, uh, the older one did not have whereas the newer one did have it so a plus thing for that let's put them back and keep continuing again putting them back is straightforward you just put the lightsaber there and you close the head uh, this one just pops down there like that this one of course you have to just make sure it's lined up so you can close it and then you just put the head back in here I'm stuck with something here. There we go. Okay, and the head goes back in place just like that. Bingo. So that's about the head. Uh, now let's move this black a bit aside so we can look at the features in the body. So the body, of course, uh, bought, let's start with the 2012. It has these openings here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, let me just put it back here. So this is supposed to open up like that. Didn't mean to do that either, but that's fine. And this one opens up just like that. Okay, so nothing there other than the open and the close. Same thing goes with the newer one. If I can get my nails there. No, I can't. There we go. That's one. And that's two. And these are the shooters. So I don't see anything there other than that. So they bought the same thing. Now from a body, like I said, nice curvature here. I like that. If uh, if you go at the back, uh, there are these two knobs on the 2012, which are in here. Let me close these back here. Oops, I put this in the wrong place. There we go. And then we just put it back here just like that if you go to the 2012 there's also two knobs here uh, of course they're different so these are going to activate the weapons of the r2d2 so let's give it a look at the 2012 again so we're going to come to the 2012 and here of course with the 2012 you first have to start with opening these because they want to open by themselves which is okay fine not an issue there but when you do that you could rotate and pull the weapons up by rotating those two knobs and here you come your saw and your shooter and at the same time they do come out they extend totally to the here which is a cool playability feature now if i jump to the 2012 it's a different mechanism i don't have to open anything all i have to do is just push it will open up push the other one from the back inwards and it will open this one so that's nice but they won't go up you have to move them by your hand and of course it's missing the the saw effect they do also pull out just like the other one but you gotta be careful because you might actually pull out the whole thing so that's that's fine just pull them slowly uh, now in here of course they have a mechanism they stop them this one you might pull them all out uh, i do like the saw feature uh, which is actually the i would think the right feature in there but that's fine uh, so but anyway you put them back same thing you go here this goes down here this goes up here and you close them same with this one no mechanism in place to close them automatically uh, no in this one of course you have to rotate just one like that and you do that and you close them so that's the difference between them so like i said one of them you have to do a manual step at the beginning here you have to do the manual step at the end meaning here you open the doors and then you use the knobs to push them up here you don't open the doors the doors are opened by the push button but then you have to lift them up mm. so whichever you like uh, then we flip to the leg. Uh, they both have the third leg, but before I go into it, in here, of course, the third leg has a mechanism that controls it, which is a knob. On here, or a switch, if you want to call it, here there's nothing. Nice, clear, rounded, which I like that effect. So I think that's where the more pieces comes. Here you can see the edges, uh, you know, uh, in, if I want to compare, poor, poor representation uh, to R2-D2 compared to the, this one, which we know R2-D2 is fully rounded, or for the most part. Of course, the details are more detailed here than the older one, but for the most part, they both, you know, did ca capture the essence of R2-D2. So here on, 
uh, on the older version, of course, as you can tell, these are the motorized for the legs representation. You can see how huge they are. And they do actually cause an issue when you put the third leg down. Sometimes they get stuck. Uh, they hold these legs in place, which is uh, which they, I think they resolved in the newer version. They made them thinner and smaller. So which you will see now how convenient it will make the third leg come out. But all in all, if you want to bring the third leg down, you have to press the button. So in case for the legs, the way they come out, so for the older version, like I said, there's a, I think there's a switch here. Yep, you pull this down like that. And then you just, a lot of fork, of course, compared to the newer one. And the leg comes out and bingo, there you are. Uh, now, of course, like I mentioned earlier, uh, there's those motorized representation for the legs that they sometimes hinder, as you can tell here, they hinder the during the way of the body. So again, I mean, not that great, but you could just move them around without hopefully breaking something. But that's the way it is, right? So uh, there we go. So you have to just do a lot of finagling here to make it look the way you want it. Mm, it's okay. On the other hand, on this one, you just move forward and the leg pops out. And you there you are. And then you just move the legs back and they clear those motorized things, and there's your leg. So I think from a, from a simplicity, uh, it makes it simpler to pull the, the, leg, the third leg out for the R2-D2 on the newer version. And then when you want to put it back, all you do is you go backward like that, and then you just pop it up, and there it is. Only on the other hand, you have to make sure you pop the switch, you push it up, and then you have to finagle again the legs to clear, to clear the, the, the motorized. But now I'm looking at it, I think there's a clearance here. Let me try it one more time, make sure. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so I mean, still, it gets stuck behind those. So anyway, it goes back here. So again, from a representation standpoint, definitely the R2-D2 from 2021 wins, wins that uh, uh, the race for the third leg extraction and putting it back. Definitely, no question there. So all in all, I mean, from a playability standpoint, like I said, not much of it. They are meant for displays, but there's a couple of things they uh, they added for the newer one. Like I said, the lightsaber in the head, the periscope. Uh, but for the most part, everything is the same, just different uh, way how you uh, uh, activate the functionalities. Of course, in the R2-D2 of 2021, they simplified them, they made them better. Uh, less uh, comp uh, cumbersome than the older version. So now to the point of, do you need both of them? Do you need one of them? Which one would you get? So of course, me personally, I just happen to have both of them. It is what it is. Now, if I go back in time, and let's say I missed uh, buying this one, right? Which I do so. so. I have Lego sets that I wish I had, but I did not. But that's fine, uh, and I want to. And I'm now deciding: Do I go by the older one, or I just go by the newer one? Me personally, from what I have, what I know now, I definitely would not go by the older one. Uh, the reason is: uh, first of all, it's going to cost me more, right? Uh, if I want to go buy a new one or a used one, it's going to cost me more than me shutting out uh, buying a new one. I, I would think uh, an older version of this. I mean, this one would cost me around three hundred and something on eBay, maybe more. I don't know. I didn't check. But I'm just thinking, because you know, uh, it's Legos, and you know, as they age, uh, they uh, they increase in cost and price. Uh, but I could get a newer version, right, uh, for 240, uh, or I could find a coupon or something, and it actually looks better from you know from representing R2D2, and the functionalities are well built. So me personally, if I didn't have the older one, I would definitely just be satisfied uh, with the newer one. Uh, definitely. Now, if I had the older one, would I go by the newer one? My 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 answer would be still no. I would not. Me personally, of course, unless I'm a collector, like I said, like myself. Yeah, maybe I would buy them. But I'm just like buying Legos for the fun of it. If I have the older one, I most probably wouldn't go shit two hundred forty dollars uh, to buy the newer one because, like I said, what you're getting different is pretty much uh, some more curvature here. Yeah, the mechanism of the third leg. But other than that, you're not getting a lot more. Uh, uh, you know, like different things. So if you put display them side by side on the shelf, uh, from the first glance, you wouldn't tell the difference. Uh, you would just think you have two identical R2-D2 until you come close to them and have a quick look. And then you could say, that, oh, okay, I see the difference now. One's 
different than the other. Uh, I wonder why. And then you ask the question. Uh, but for the most part, I think uh, if you have one and you're not a big collector, I wouldn't go shit for the other one. But that's again my personal opinion. Uh, you are more than welcome to do whatever you want with your money and how you collect Legos. But this is my own uh, uh, personal opinion. So uh, hopefully uh, you like this video. Uh, if so, please uh, don't forget to hit the uh, like and share button. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, uh, please do so. Uh, please do, uh, do so. <laughs> and uh, the next video, let's keep building.